I'm Anil Kumar and here is another question from my subscriber. Uh, let me thank them for taking so much interest in my channel and posting excellent questions. The question here is, is f of x equals to absolute value of x to the power of 3 over 2 continuous differentiable function? That's the question, right? Now, I couldn't really get this question properly. It could have been, uh, so I'll write the other function as uh, g of x equals to absolute value of x to the power of 3 over 2, right? So, in this particular example, I will consider two functions. Also, g of x, which is absolute value of x to the power of 3 over 2. I'm not really sure which one you wanted, right? So, so that's what uh, I'm doing at present. So let's begin by considering another function, which is h of x, which is equals to x to the power of 3 over 2. Let's call this as the base function for our example, correct? Now, in this case, what is the derivative of this function? Derivative of this function is 3 over 2 times x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 1, which could be written as 3 over 2 x to the power of 3 minus 2 is 1 square root, right? So that is what the derivative of the function is. So as you can see from here, I will sketch it also and then we'll see how to uh, do this particular example. Uh, in this particular function, since we have square root of x, let me rewrite, let me rewrite once again. Uh, we could say h equals to 3 over 2 square root of x, correct? So now this derivative is only valid for x values which are greater than or equal to 0. Is that okay? So that is how uh, the function is, correct? <clears throat> now that's the derivative. So the function itself which is x to the power of 3 over 2 could be sketched. Uh, let me sketch this function here. Uh, kind of like this. Okay, let's do this. So here is the function. We'll ju just write f of x here for the time being x here. Now, uh, the function which I have sketched just now is x to the power of 3 over 2. As you can see, the slope here is kind of 0 and then it kind of increases. Square root function slope always increases. Actually speaking, it should have been uh, kind of like this, not this portion. Always increasing, right? So, so we have always increasing slope. Let me write down here. Always increasing function. Is it okay? Because the slope is positive. Correct? So it is 0 at 0. So kind of horizontal here. And then always increasing. So that is what the slope is. And therefore the function is kind of like this. Now let us consider both our functions. One is f of x, which is absolute value of x to the power of 3 over 2, correct? So if I do absolute value of this function, it is same as the function which we have done. It will be same as h of x. Is it okay? Because it is always positive. It is always positive. So in that case, what we find is that the function is continuous. So this function is continuous. and differentiable when x is greater than or equal to 0. Is it okay? So that is what this function is. As such, when we have this function here, x to the power of 3 over 2, here also we know the domain of uh, x to the power of 3 over 2 could be written as like this. This is a square root and then cube. So domain of this is x greater than or equal to 0. So, so that is the function, right? Okay. So now we'll consider the other function, which is g of x. So now let me take the second part, let's say part b. So we'll consider part b, and we are considering the function g of x, which is absolute value of x and then to the power of 3 by 2. Is it okay? Now, when we have absolute value of x, in that case, what is the domain? Now, x belongs to real numbers. So in this particular case, x belongs to real numbers. And what we also know is that's an even function. Is that okay? Even function. 
and that means it is symmetric about y axis right so I could sketch this as a function which is kind of like this and it's a reflection here right is it okay so this function well let me highlight this portion along with this is is including g of x do you see that where x belongs to real numbers right so in this particular function you will see that's a smooth curve this is differentiable right so here it is differentiable so it is again continuous and differentiable on entire domain on x belongs to real numbers on entire domain right so that's i hope that is clear right so what we see in this video that if you're considering the function absolute value of x to the power of 3 over 2 then the domain is x greater than or equal to 0 if you're considering g of x which is absolute value of x to the power of 3 over 2 then the domain is all real numbers and both these functions are differentiable in their domain so that's what we conclude i hope that's absolutely clear feel free to write your comments and also uh, let me know what was your real question thanks for watching and all the best